Hello everyone. So in the last video, we set up a order page like this and we set up a funnel which had two steps. It had a order page and a thank you page. So if we click on the thank you page now, what we need to do is decide what's going to happen. So you can see again, there's absolutely loads of different templates here that you can put in. So I'm going to use this one in the middle with the video and I'm going to press select. So we've got thank you page again, I'm just going to sort because if I ended up with more, I just want to keep it nice. And I want to keep this as Trello social media ty. And I'm going to press save. So what we need to do now is just press this edit page button here and it will bring this up so we can edit it. So I'm going to get rid of that back at the top. I'm going to change the background image. So here we go. I can change that to say like a nice big orange. Um, now I'm going to change the text. So I click on the text. I'm going to change the color of that text to white, not the background color. I've changed the text background instead of the text color. Da, 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 da. There we go. Thanks for your purchase. Obviously, we've put some information in here. Going to change that to white as well. Happy days. And then what we'd want to do is change the video, for instance. So I can click on this video, and all you do is you give it the direct link to the video if it's in YouTube, for instance. Or you can put custom embed, edit code, and you would paste the code in there. Whichever suits you best, it's totally up to you. I'm just going to get back. What have I done? Let me just refresh the page. If you ever get a bug like that, just refresh the page. Um, didn't save any of the changes I've done. Thank you. Just quickly do them changes again. So as you can see, it's fairly simple. Like in the previous video where we just, you know, click what we want to edit and change it. Um, drag in what you want to drag in, that kind of stuff. So here we'd customize this and we would put in here, you know, first name, check. First thing, check your email. You will receive your access details for the Trello for social media course, for instance. Um, then we can go into the second step, which it might be watch the video, might be join the Facebook group, you know, you decide on what that's going to be. And it could be that you're going to add an upsell into this. So you could go into blocks here, for instance, and it might be that you want to add an upsell on. So you can put some on, which could be anything that you want, really. Um, you can pop in a little upsell just that they've got it. And you might say, I don't want a CTA button. I'm just going to keep it nice and simple like that. And then all you would do is press save changes. So if I go back now, so what happens here now is someone goes in here, they do the order form, and then when they've purchased, it takes them to this step here. It comes to this after. So if I now press, now that bit, da, 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 on here, we can see we've got everything set up. Yeah, we're all good. So we can add more steps in. So if I press add step, you could add in a squeeze page, you could add in another sales page, which is like an upsell. You could add a registration page. There's lots of different things that you could add into here. Um, but we're going to keep it nice and simple. So what we're going to do in the next video, we're going to show you how to set this up if it was a course. Also how to set this up if it wasn't a course. And then you know what you're actually doing in regards to it. As well as how to connect this up to MailerLite. We're going to get all that covered in the next few videos.